Another way to monitor hackers is to use a honeypot. Now, the use of a honeypot is very controversial because what it does, it segments an area or perhaps an entire machine onto a portion of your network and opens up certain services and ports and makes it enticing for a potential hacker to find the honeypot and attack the machine. What you can do is you can keep very explicit logs of all activity and all accesses in your honeypot. The purpose behind it is to try to track down the attacker while putting that person into what looks like to be an attractive environment, but in reality, every path points to a dead end. Again, you want to be careful not to be too overt in attracting attackers to your honeypot because what you're doing is you're actually pointing out that there's something important on the system and the fact that I'm using a honeypot tells me that I'm trying to divert your attention away from something else because eventually that attacker is going to realize that he or she's stuck in a honeypot and has been diverted away from something else. Then retaliation starts to take place. It's not uncommon for very good hackers once they've been tricked into a honeypot to either themselves or with some friends take revenge on the system and really try to figure out what you're trying to hide from them.